and welcome once again to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. My name is Lou Bordeaux. I'm the Green Wave Skate Doctor. We're here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts for this independent matchup between the Greenfield Green Wave and the visiting Gardner Wildcats. Green Wave are coming into this tilt. Nine wins, one loss, two ties overall on the season. Just past the midway point. Gardner is a wild card. They, uh, they're 0-13 at the outset. Anything can happen, though, once the game gets started. And we're going to bring that opening face off to you right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Track down Christopher after the period to get shots, okay?
Terrific job on the national anthem by young Asa Bouchard, one of the Franklin County Hockey Association mites. We are just about ready for hockey action here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. The Green Wave taking on the visiting Gardner Wildcats. Players just regathering themselves, getting their helmets back in place. In case you're watching along the line on YouTube, today in Greenfield, it happens to be Friday, February 1st, 2019. This is game 13 on the season for the Green Wave. 9-1 and 2 on the campaign overall. Frontier student, Brian Bauman, six points away from 100 for his high school career. We'll keep an eye on number six, Brian Bauman, tonight. Riley Drew starting in goal for the Green Wave as he has all season long. Starting line of Adam Savoy, number 17. Aiden Roach, number 21, another Frontier student athlete. And Brian Bauman takes the draw. Kevin Bauman along the boards in the neutral zone. Brian's brother, another Frontier student athlete. Brian crosses into the blue line, into the Gardner zone. Drop back for Jacob Bryant. Jacob stick handles through two of the Gardner defenders. Josh Garrity handling in deep for the Wildcats. Captain Tim Quinn stripped to the puck. Aiden Roach goes into the Gardner zone. Wildcats in a rebuilding phase this season. That's going to be icing. Face off all the way back down to the right of goaltender Alex Lafreniere. Once again tonight, we'd like to thank the facilities of FCAT Sports for bringing you Green Wave Hockey. Kyle Barnes back to Sean O'Sullivan. Cam Rice gets a stick on the puck. Back to Bowie Harris. The frontier turns that aside. O'Sullivan gets it back down behind the goal line. Barnes has it. Turns around, that's Jamison Howland with it. O'Sullivan clears it. Barnes in pursuit. Back around, Will Averill tries to keep it in. Does a good job there. Meanwhile, back out to Jacob Bryant. Bryant lets one fly right into the bread basket of Lafreniere. This is the first of a home and home series. These same two teams will meet tomorrow night out at the Veterans Memorial Arena in Gardner. Face-off time, 5.30 p.m. And Lafreniere skates over to the bench, needs a little helmet repair. We're going to have a little break in the action. And welcome back to Green Wave Hockey. 13-11 remain in the first period here in Greenfield tonight. Brian Bauman in on the draw. Bauman wins, forces it deep. 
Mike Goulette tried to get it out. Bauman intercepted. Aiden Roach on the puck. Back to Will Averill on the point. Will shovels it deep. And Bauman! He's got the first goal of the night. Brian Bauman gets the green wave on the board. 2.09 into the first session. Earl Petey on the draw. It's Matt Wilhite with it. Matt Marshall clears the zone for Gardner. Gets one in on Riley. Riley turns it aside. Petey gets it out and through the neutral zone. One on four. That was a little, always going to be a difficult one. Back to Bowie Harris. Kevin Bauman behind his net. Hooks it up to Will Height. Will Height clears it out. Lenoise in pursuit. Puck is in the feet of Ben Savoy of Gardner. Will Averill collects a helper on that Brian Bauman goal. Lafreniere ties up the puck. Going to have a face-off to his left. Here in a very cold Collins Moylan Arena. Max Murphy on the draw for Gardner. Take a Bryant, lobs went in from the blue line. Cam Rice behind the net. Shovels it through the crease. Sean O'Sullivan hit by Matt Shepard. Captain Mikey McGoldrick. Fires went in. O'Sullivan with the puck. Back over to Jacob Bryant. Just missed on the short side. McGoldrick again gets one in. Matt Shepard in. Riley makes the save and holy cow. Bodies are everywhere. Riley made the save. Puck fell loose. He wasn't sure where it was. Matt Shepard followed on the play because there was no whistle right away. Puck was loose. Riley maintained his composure. Face off to his left right now. Brian Bauman wins the draw. Back to his brother Kevin. Kevin up the half wall. Can't get it through. Aiden Roach in there. Got three Frontier student athletes right there. Brian Bauman, tonight's goal scorer. Takes the puck, moves it up. Adam Savoy can't handle it. Icing's waved off. There was contact there. Back over to Will Averill. Averill can't quite keep it in. Delayed offside, but it comes back this way. Gardner with it, and they're offside. Right in front of our broadcast position is Josh Garrity. Just got in ahead of the puck. Scores one to zero in favor of the Greenfield Green Wave. Gardner changing up their lines. Jake Croto wins the draw. Puck gets fired back. A new line out there. Jake centering for Porter Clancy. Trevor Bodette making his first start of the season. Good to see these guys out there. It's Bodette with the puck. Gets it over to Croto. Cleared back out. Jamison Howland 
Chases Mikey McGoldrick. Oh, gets the stick under the feet. Puts loose. It's Matt Shepard with it again. Drew turns it away with the waffle board. Bodette clears it the length of the ice. That's icing. Face off coming back down to the left side of Riley Drew. 9.52 remain in the first period. Greenfield leads this one 1-0. One on a Brian Bauman goal. Tim Quinn at the point. Played with a high stick. Kyle Barnes deflects it in, chases it down. Can't quite get there, it's an icing call. Face off back in the greenfield zone. Looks like coach Adam Bouchard has shuffled the deck. Got some new line combinations tonight. Sean O'Sullivan and Cam Rice out there, centered by Kyle Barnes. It's MJ Paulin behind the net. Goes back the other way with it. O'Sullivan gets it up to Barnes. Barnes through four Gardner players. Puck is clear, that's Cam Rice back over to Kevin Bauman. Barnes takes it in. Eludes Aiden Prentice. Prentice with the puck. Paulin knocks it back in. Paulin's going to take it from behind his own net. Takes a look. Comes this way into Kyle Barnes. And there goes O'Sullivan. Couldn't quite get through Ben Savoy. Jacob Bryant off the boards over to Bowie Harris. Harris moves in. Correll Petey looking to make something happen. Puck bounces high. Petey's got it behind the goal line. Shovels it out. Derek Lenoy right there on the doorstep. We got a whistle. 8.03 remain in the first period. Greenfield leads this one 1-0. One You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. And worldwide on YouTube. Please like and share the video if you're watching us on YouTube. Aiden Roach over to McGoldrick. Turned aside by Lafreniere. The Goldrick once again. Averill off the boards to Aiden Roach. Lafreniere ties it up. Roach got the shot off. Roach got the shot off. Bounced back over to Adam Savoy. The front here with a nice save. Just about to the halfway mark in the first period. Gardner showing a little bit of moxie out there so far tonight. Ryan Bauman. Battle with Tim Quinn, captain of Gardner. Battle along the half wall on the far side. Aiden Prentice in there. Matt Marshall gets it, clears it up. Referee loses an edge. 
Bauman with it. Aiden Roach didn't have enough space over there. Kevin Bauman back from the point. That's deflected wide. Tony Wozni seeing his first action of the night. Kevin Bauman finds, camp, finds uh, Kyle Barnes. The smaller ice surface here in Greenfield doesn't give the boys a lot of room for stick handling. Sean O'Sullivan with it. Cam Rice. Back to Jacob Bryan who takes a look. Delayed offside. Jameson Howland brings himself onside. Buck bounces down to Ben Savoy of the Wildcats. It's Matt Shepard. Drew turns that one aside. Jacob Bryant. Puck in the feet of MJ Paulin. Manages to get it aside. Sean O'Sullivan. Takes a hit along the half wall for his effort. Holland clears it back in. Ball and rifles it to Bryant. Brian Bauman in behind the Gardner goal line. Aiden Roach gets the shot away. Adam Savoy scores! Going to be Adam Savoy's first goal of the season. Congratulations. Well done. Greenfield takes a 2-0 lead. And we've got icing on Gardner. Face off back down to the right of Alex Lafreniere. Four and a half remain in the first period of play. And we just got the announcement. Brian Bauman with an assist on that goal. He's got two points tonight. He's four away from 100 for his career. Be nice if he could crest that 100 mark right here in front of the home faithful. Sean O'Sullivan. Back to Kyle Barnes. Lafreniere swallows that blue line wrist shot from Kevin Bauman. Four fourteen remain in the first period. That hot chocolate's going to taste really good during the intermission. Jacob Bryant with a point blast turned aside by Lafreniere. It's Matt Shepard. Got in behind Tony Wozni. And we've got our first penalty of the night. Going to be Matt Shepard a Gardner for a cross check. Faceoff is going to be all the way back down to the left of Alex Lafreniere.
See what the Green Wave power play combination looks like. Mikey McGoldrick into Kyle Barnes. And it's in. Just 10 seconds into that power play. Green Wave open up a 3-0 lead. Gonna wait on the announcement. I think that's Kyle Barnes's goal. Josh Garrity dumps it in deep for the Wildcats. Jacob Bryant. It's over the center ice line. Trevor Bodette. Plays it in the corner. Out to Jake Croto. Oh, Mikey McGoldrick got that goal from the point, and Bauman got another assist, so he's got three points tonight. It's going to give him 97 on his career. Jay Croto laying the law down out there. Yeah, we've got a nice in call. Well, referees decide that uh, perhaps it was not icing. So we're going to have a face-off at center ice. 2.36 to go in the first period. RLPD. Oh! Puck deflected into the green wave zone. Ben Savoy. Puts it in on Riley Drew. Riley holds on for the faceoff. 2.12 to go in the first period. Green wave on top, Goes down behind the Gardner cage. Cam Rice pokes it up to Kyle Barnes. Barnes behind the goal line. He takes a look back to Tony Wozny. Woz gets it into Sully. Sean O'Sullivan. Silky smooth. Finds her. Oh! Wow. Matt Shepard not afraid to take the body for the Wildcats. Once again. Shepard after Cam Rice. Buckets, oh, that's going to be offside. Kyle Barnes is already in deep. O'Sullivan held the puck at the blue line. Now he maneuvers in. But over on this side, Brian Bauman and Jacob Bryan both in ahead of the play. 104 remain in the first period. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. These two teams go at it again tomorrow night in Gardner. Face-off time, 5.30. Jacob Bryant. Is it plays it off the half wall. Mike Goulette kept it in. Brian Bauman had a steam over the blue line. It's it. Oh! Good bid by Aiden Roach. 
Sticks are getting a little high. Puck is kept in. Finally, Tim Quinn, captain, has no choice but to send the puck the length of the ice for an icing call. 15 ticks remain on the clock here in Greenfield. Petey wins the draw. That will height. Plays it back to Tony Wasney. It's outside. It's inside. And that's going to wrap it up for the first period. Green Wave skate off with a 3-0 lead after one stanza here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. As the teams file off to their respective locker rooms. We say thank you for watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. We'll be back with second period action right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Welcome back to Greenfield. Teams are back on the ice. Second period of play, moments away. Boys are getting a good stretch in. It is cold in this barn tonight, folks. Lou Bordeaux, Green Wave Skate Doctor here with you tonight. A pleasure to be with you here on FCAT Sports. Greenfield with a 3-0 lead after one period of play. Frontier's Brian Bauman, a goal and two assists, gives him 97 points on his high school hockey career. Gardner Wildcats. Not going to go quietly. They have yet to taste victory this season. But it's certainly not for the lack of trying. And the second period's underway. Jacob Bryant bounces it off the red line on the boards. Quickly back down the other way. Riley Drew saves the effort off the stick of Josh Garrity. Heard his name quite a bit so far tonight. Here goes Bauman again. Alex Lafreniere are equal to the task. Nice quick snapshot by Brian Bauman. Sides change up. Kyle Barnes wins the draw, forces it deep. 
Puck comes back this way. It's deflected out by Glenn Scott. Play goes in offside. Matt Shepard a little eager over on the far side. Quick line change there. Brian Bauman's unit back out. As we said earlier, Coach Adam Bouchard has shuffled the deck a little bit. Got some new combinations tonight. Aiden Roach. Turned aside by Lafreniere and it's dumped. That's going to go for icing. Too hot to handle. Faceoff comes all the way back down to the left of Alex Lafreniere. Stalemate. Sean O'Sullivan ends up with it. Gets a quick backhander off. Turned aside by Lafreniere. Cam Rice behind the net. Back to MJ Pollen. Oh, off the post. Pollen had Lafreniere dead to rights. Kyle Barnes back in. Lafreniere kicked with his right leg. Kyle Barnes deposited the biscuit in the basket. Makes it a 4-0 game. Kind of an awkward goal. But the result is another Greenfield goal. Will Averill banks it off the glass. Just hit that seam over there. Fell down deader, deader than you could imagine right there. Blue Harris behind the net. Looks it around. Derek Lenoise shouldered off the play. Matt Wilhite in across the blue line. Stripped of the puck. Harris dumps it back in while the Green Wave get back onside. Captain Tim Quinn has it. Aurel Petey lost control at the last moment. Averill with the four check. And that one's up into the netting. Twelve forty-eight remain in the second period. Greenfield leads this one 4-0. Jake Croto on the draw. Wins it back to Mikey McGoldrick, the captain. Wheels it around this way. Croto gets it slapped off his stick by Jamison Howland. Play quickly goes back. McGoldrick once again. Trevor Boudet lost his footing over there. Bodet seeing his first action on the Green Wave varsity this year. Puck bounced off the glass. McGoldrick kept it in. Porter Clancy over there. Ben Savoy regathers for the Wildcats. Bounces back and forth through the neutral zone. Kevin Bauman, Mikey McGoldrick play catch. Trevor Boudet. A little too far for Jake Croto to handle. Little Blitzkrieg bop in the background here at the Collins Moylan Arena. 
little Friday night fun here in Greenfield. Jacob Bryant with the long pass. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't quite get it to Brian Bauman. Bauman was home free. Puck just took one extra bounce just past the red line. Couldn't quite catch up to it. Goes for an icing. Face off back to the left of Riley Drew. We hope you're enjoying Green Wave hockey here on FCAT Sports. And Jacob Bryant with a no look around this way. Jacob Bryant came way across to this side of the ice. Still managed to get one in just wide of the front here. Two on one the other way. It's Josh Garrity. Gets it in and Riley says no. Eleven oh one remain in the second period. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We are very glad you're here with us tonight. Max Murphy wins the draw for Gardner. Paulin banks it off the half wall. Sean O'Sullivan in pursuit. He's got it. Puck is loose. And looks like we've got a high stick behind the play. That's Ben Savoy. Going to sit down for two. Going to get another look at the Green Wave power play unit. Brian Bauman, Kyle Barnes, Aiden Roach up front. Mikey McGoldrick, Kevin Bauman working the points. Puck comes back to Rochi. Rochi. Dropped it for McGoldrick. Goldie dumps it in. Players get back onside. Long clearing attempt by Gardner. Brian Bauman with some open ice. Once again regathers the puck. Drops it. McGoldrick dumps in. Bauman behind the net. Over to Roach. Back to Kevin Bauman. Just put in the feet of McGoldrick. Minute 20 remain on the Green Wave power play. McGoldrick from outside the blue line gets one in on Lafreniere. He holds it. And he's going to have a face off to his left. 10 3 remain in the second period. It's 4 0 in favor of the Green Wave. Max Murphy jumps the gun there. And the trailing official didn't like the looks of that one. Jacob Bryant back along the blue line. Down to one minute remaining in power play time. Cam Rice. Gets it up to Bowie Harris. Bowie takes a look. He's got Bryant wide open. Bryant gets it into O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan harmlessly back behind the net. Harris back over this way. Bryant lets the cannon go. Goes wide. Goes all the way back down to Riley Drew. Bryant follows it. Takes a look. Back up to Adam Savoy. O'Sullivan finds some space, has a lot of ice to work with down there. O'Sullivan all alone, he's onside, gets it down behind the Gardner goal line. Brian Bauman, back to Harris, to Bauman. Oh, Sullivan nearly had that tip in. Great reaction by Alex Lafreniere to save that one. 
Five seconds remain on the Green Wave power play. 8.53 to go in the second period. Green Wave lead this one 4-0. Bauman wins the draw back to Kyle Barnes. Barnes gets one up high. The front of shoulders that away. Puck comes back out to Will Averill. As Ben Savoy leaves the penalty box, puck hits the referee. Bauman dances in over the blue line. Aiden Roach drops back for Will Averill. Will dumps it in. Phil Quinn for Gardner. Clears it out into the neutral zone. Kevin Bauman dumps it in. It's Phil Quinn. Aiden Roach right in there. Tight on the four check. That's nice. Oh, he almost snuck it in the short side. Lafreniere turned that one away. Bauman once again gets in deep. Now we've got a hooking call, it looks like. On Tim Quinn, the Gardner captain. And we're going to get another look at the Green Wave power play. Green Wave lead this one 4-0, 7.56 to go in the second period. That's Sean O'Sullivan wins the draw. Back to Bowie Harris. Bowie gets it in to Cam Rice. Ricey. Back to Harris, over to Jacob Bryant. Looking for some open ice. Sees none, gets it down behind the goal line again. Harris goes in deep. Matt Marshall got his stick on it, trying to clear the zone, can't quite do it. Jacob Bryant knocks Marshall down. O'Sullivan down behind the net. Circles back around. That's Nick Millette. Took the puck off of O'Sullivan's stick. Jacob Bryant dumped it back in, but again, the shot goes wide. Comes back this way. As Matt Shepard went in for it. And we're going to have a faceoff down to the left of Riley Drew. Minute nine remain on the Green Wave power play. Not much to show for this one so far. Brian Bauman out to take the draw. Wins it against Glenn Scott. That one goes up into the netting. Deflected out by Greenfield, so the faceoff is going to remain deep in their zone to the left of Riley Drew. 7.01 to go in the second period. Aiden Roach right off the faceoff. Gets it out. Oh, what a save by Lafreniere. And the rebound. Oh, me, oh, my. That Shepard got the stick up, though. I don't know if he'll be called for that. That was extracurricular. I guess there's no call on that one. Brian Bauman to take the draw. 54 seconds to go in power play time. Puck in the feet of the referee. Wasn't much to do except stand there and hope nothing happened. Mikey McGoldrick. Little tic-tac-toe. Brian Bauman, what a shot! Another one, puck's loose, and it's in! That's Bauman's second goal in the night, a power play marker at 6.32 6.30, remaining in the second period. Two goals, two assists for Brian. That'll give him 98 career points. Going to wait for the official announcement on that. 
Brian Bauman was on the doorstep. Green Wave take a 5-0 lead. Earl PD wins the draw back to Bowie Harris. Bowie off the glass. Derek Lenoy is through traffic. Puck in his feet, kicks it forward. Back to Oral PD who gets in a shot. Lafreniere swallows that. 6.09 to go in the second period. 4-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Max Murphy wins the draw for Gardner. Pulls it back. It's Tim Quinn with it. Once again, Green Wave get it deep. Petey and Wilhite. Trying to make it happen. Passes behind Aiden Prentice. Green Wave take it. Back in behind Lafreniere again. Matt Wilhite with it. Frontier gloved it just over the cage. Jacob Bryant right into the chest of Lafreniere. Brian Bauman back out to take the draw for Greenfield. Puck goes all the way down to Riley, and that's off the netting. Faceoff's going to be to Riley's left. With 5.14 to go in the second period. Greenfield leads Gardner, 5-0. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. So proud to be with you here tonight. Puck is back behind Riley Drew. Riley hasn't had a whole lot to do in this second stanza. That's Aiden Roach. Just behind Bauman. Bauman looking for the Hattie. Josh Garrity moves it in. Riley knocks that one aside. Puck goes high. Jacob Bryant's got it. Moves it out. It's Bryant for Bauman. Oh! I think we all held our breath there when Brian Bauman went into the boards. Seems to be okay. Gets off on his own. He's going to sit down for a moment, though, and regather himself. Jake Croto on the faceoff. Croto wins that battle. Captain Tim Quinn gets out. Little shoulder on shoulder. Bodies flying everywhere. Trevor Baudet in pursuit. And another one off the netting. It was tapped up by Jamison Howland. Faceoff is going to come back to center ice. 3.46 to go. Second period of play.
Kyle Barnes in over the blue line. Shouldered off by Quinn. O'Sullivan knocked into the boards behind the goal. Tony Wozni back out. Dumps it back towards the Gardner zone. All the way down for an icing. Green Wave have held the territorial advantage here in the second period. And here comes Bauman over to Roach. Oh, he shoots and scores! Ed and Roach moved up from defense to forward, made that one count. That's an assist for Brian Bauman. That gives him five points tonight. He is one away from 100 for his high school career. That was a beautiful, beautiful two-on-one. Green Wave take a 6-0 lead. Harris takes the puck down behind his own cage. Loses his footing. Barnes taps it back to Harris. O'Sullivan couldn't quite keep that foot on the blue line. Only offside by a couple inches, but might as well have been by two feet there. Good attempt nonetheless. 2.45 to go in the second. 6-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Will Height dumps it in. Petey knocks it free from Nick Millett. Derek Lenoise throws it out. Jonah Hoisington out there for Gardner. Will Height couldn't quite handle that one. Puts himself back onside. Puts it in. Petey had the puck deflected by Tim Quinn. Quinn with the clearing attempt. Will Height knocks it back in. A lot of bodies in a small amount of space there. Puck knocked in by Tony Wozni. They got a quick line change going. That one's going for an icing call. Upcoming games for the Green Wave, as I said earlier. These two teams will meet tomorrow night, February 2nd, in Gardner. And next Wednesday, Green Wave travel to Lasone Rink in East Hampton for a big matchup with the East Hampton Eagles. <laughs> Green Wave 9-1-2 and two on the campaign. Here comes Aiden Roach. Tried to drop it for Bauman, got a little too far behind him. I think everybody in the building is aware that Brian Bauman stands at 99 career points right now. Another one up into the netting. Faceoff is going to be to the left of Alex Lafreniere. We've got 58 seconds to go in the second period of play. Green Wave lead this one by a count of 6-0. Adam Savoy with the bouncing puck. Eight 
Aiden Prentice followed that one all the way into the Greenfield zone. Aiden Roach tries to get it across to Bauman. Couldn't quite do it. Phil Quinn ends up with the puck. Savoy knocks it back in. And it's out of the zone. 20 seconds to go in the second period. Savoy gets it in deep. Bauman takes a look. Wow. Nearly had it. And that's it. Second period comes to a close. Green Wave in command of this one, a 6-0 lead. But the big story so far, Brian Bauman. Two goals, three assists. He's got a five-point night so far. Leaves him with 99 career points. Teams going to their respective locker rooms. We're going to be back with third period action. Just a few minutes. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Go to best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. I'm Lou Bordeaux, Green Wave Skate Doctor here with you tonight. Green Wave lead this one 6-0 after two skating periods. Holding a, a substantial territorial advantage tonight. But the big story, Brian Bauman after two periods on those six goals. He's got two goals, three assists, five points tonight. Gives him 99 for his high school hockey career. And he, don't forget, he's only a junior. He's got another season to go. Shots on goal in the second period. Green Wave had 14. Gardner had four. That's a two period total. 25 for Greenfield. Nine for the Wildcats. Third period action is underway. Captain Tim Quinn. In there, there's Bauman. He's got it. Shot just goes wide. You can see that whole crowd of Brian Bauman fans down behind the Gardner cage. Got a shot off from the high slot. Puck comes back out. Mike Goulette sends it this way. Jacob Bryant. Just got it behind Bauman. Once again, just out of the reach of Bauman. Bryant. Oh! Just throws it in. Lafreniere just slid a little bit farther than we expected. Green Wave take a 7-0 lead. Gonna wait for the announcement on that. I don't think Brian got a stick on that for uh, for an assist, but we're gonna wait and try and get the official word. 
Meanwhile, Cam Rice gets it back to Mikey McGoldrick, captain of the Green Wave. Ricey back over to Kyle Barnes. Cam Rice from the high slot. Lafreniere got a glove on that one. Held it for the faceoff. 13.39 to go in the third period. 7-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Goldrick was going to take a shot. Realized that Matt Shepard was right in front of him. That's Kyle Barnes behind the net. Over to Sean O'Sullivan. Sully with a nice shot. Turned away by Lafreniere. Puck goes back around on the far side. O'Sullivan with it. Harassed on his way into the slot area. And Phil Quinn comes back for Gardner. They're caught deep. Kyle Barnes off to the races. Shouldered away by Lafreniere. As we said, Greenfield's out shooting the Wildcats by a 25-9 margin coming into this third period of play. MJ Pollen with it. He takes a look. Dumps in deep, or LPD after it. Puck bounces loose. Lenoy's with it again. He overskates. That's Matt Shepard. He tries to make the play, can't quite do it. Bowie Harris obstructed him. All the way back down. Puck was loose in the slot. Nobody there to bang it home. Saved by Riley Drew off the stick of Max Murphy. Pollen in a battle behind the goal line with Mike Will Wilhite comes back around. The hot potato, nobody wants it. Finally, Petey knocks it free. It's not going to go all the way for icing. Tim Quinn gets it behind his own net, recalibrates. Puck up into the netting. Faceoff's going to be to the left of Alex Lafreniere. 11 23 to go in the third period. Well, then the referees say it must have gone off a green wave stick. Puck comes back out for a faceoff. Outside the blue line, Brian Bauman to take the draw. Brother Kevin sends it in deep. Jacob Bryan with a nice centering attempt. Kevin Bauman dumps it in. Aiden Roach clears around to Jacob Bryant. Bryant takes a look. Once again, he's got it. Tried to get it over to Bauman. Got a stick on it, but just wasn't enough wood. Tim Quinn dumps it in. Riley Drew plays it behind. Jacob Bryant puts on the brakes. Turns around. Pirouettes a couple times. Long shovel pass just through the feet of Bauman. Not going to go for an icing. Ben Savoy got his elbow up into the neck of Bauman. Adam Savoy, no relation. Brings it back around this side. Jamison Howland has no other choice. Clears at the length of the ice for an icing call. We've got 10 minutes, one second remaining in the third period. Greenfield on top, 7-0. To Mike and McGoldrick kept that one in nicely. 
once again, Lafreniere ties up the puck. Faceoff's going to be to his left. Coach Adam Bouchard changes up the defense. Kyle Barnes won that draw back to O'Sullivan. Lafreniere tied it up underneath him. Excitement building here at the Collins Moylan Arena. Got a crowd of people gathered down around the back wall behind goalie Alex Lafreniere. Hoping to see history in the making here tonight. Bowie Harris shovels over to MJ Paulin. MJ takes a look, carries in over the blue line. O'Sullivan follows up. Cam Rice in a battle along the boards. Yeah, we got a roughing call coming up on Gardner. It's Matt Shepard. Not his first trip to the sin bin tonight. Brian Bauman back on the ice for this power play. 9.06 to go in the third period. I think it's a fair assumption that at this point the outcome of this game is not in any jeopardy. But once again, the big question, Brian Bauman, 99 career points. A little bit of chirping from the Gardner bench. Kevin Bauman dumps in. Brian's got it now. It's a hat trick for Brian Bauman on the power play goal. He's got three goals. He's got three assists. That's a six point night. Give him 100 for his high school hockey career. What an exciting moment. Top shelf where mama hides the cookies, baby. What an exciting moment here in Greenfield. 100 career points, and that young man is only a junior. You know, I had the pleasure between periods had the pleasure between periods of visiting with Brian's grandma who came all the way up from New Jersey, Paula. She's beside herself. Family, friends, there are signs everywhere. What a terrific night. Terrific night for a fine young man. Brian Bauman, a leader on and off the ice. Brian epitomizes what Green Wave hockey is all about. Well, meanwhile, the Gardner bench has gone into full meltdown.
Puck in behind Riley Drew as we're back underway. What a night here in Greenfield. I believe in all the chaos, Gardner was given another unsportsmanlike penalty. Here goes Kevin Bauman. He was tripped. Another Gardner player going to the penalty box. He's back over to the Gardner bench again. Hey, with or without 13, you're still going to lose. Jacob Bryant with a blast from the blue line. Adam Savoy has it. Back to Bryant one more time. It's a five on three power play for the Green Wave. Bowie Harris steps in. Shovels through a maze of legs. Cam Rice nicely keeps it in. No look over for Bryant. Bryant circles. It's a seven nothing lead for the Green Wave. Savoy all alone just tipped it wide. Bryant back over to Bowie Harris. Bowie steps in. Kick save Lafreniere. And he ties it up. to seven minutes to go here in the third period in Greenfield. Green Wave on a five on three power play. MJ Paulin unleashes one from the blue line. Turned aside by Lafreniere. Ben Savoy of Gardner. Sends it down the ice. That's Trevor Bodet with it. Puck goes back harmlessly to Riley Drew. Gardner gets one of their skaters back on the ice. Bodette with some slick stick handling. Oh, nice centering attempt. Porter Clancy got a nice shot off. MJ with a nice shot from the blue line. Lafreniere denied him. Tony Wozni takes a shot, bounces off of Max Murphy, comes all the way back. And the teams are back at five aside. Puck is shot in by Max Murphy. Riley gets the glove on that. Holds it tight. 5.20 to go. Clock remains running. I'm told to score. 8-0 in favor of the Green Wave. It's a six-point night for Brian Bauman. 100 in his career. Congratulations. Will Averill. Josh Garrity nearly tipped it in. 
Another glove saved by Riley. Riley turns that one aside. Onto the stick of Adam Savoy. Adam goes through traffic. Puts into the corner. Paulin with a couple of uh, attempts. Second one deflected by Mike Ouellette. Comes back around. Averill knocks it back into the Gardner zone. MJ in a battle with Mike Ouellette. Sean O'Sullivan has plenty of open ice. Sully gets in, just goes wide. Tony Wozni passes up to Jake Croto. Jake goes in. Jake rings one off of Ben Savoy's ankle. That's going to leave a mark. Play gets a little physical. Referee's taking both of them. Play got a little physical. I didn't think Jake was guilty of anything. I know he took a slash there. Slash on Gardner, roughing on Croto. Uh, before the rest of the night gets away from us, and we're down to about three minutes to go. I'd like to thank my spotter tonight, Mr. Josh McStubbs, joins us from Battlefront Pro Wrestling. Thank you, Josh. Our statistician is Mr. Chris Phelps. Thank you to the critter. That's Porter Clancy with the puck. Little dosy -si doe. Cam Rice dumps it in. Will Averill. Captain Tim Quinn couldn't quite keep that one in. Down to two and a half remaining. 8-0 in favor of the Green Wave on a cold night in Greenfield. That's Matt Wilhite. Wilhite with the puck. Banks it off the half wall. Sean O'Sullivan takes a look. He's got Trevor Bodet. Trevor's got the puck in his feet. Crosses the blue line. Centering attempt. Wouldn't quite cash in on it. Jamison Howland steps around MJ Pollen. Back the other way. Oh, and he roofs it. Jamison Howland. Howland went bar down. And the Wildcats are on the board. Minute 40 to go here in the third period. Play came in on a fast and furious two on one. Wasn't much Riley could do there. Will Averill steps on the biscuit. Petey going back the other way. Petey gets shouldered down. Tony Wozni lets one fly from the blue line. We're under a minute in the third period. He's all over the place as the clock winds down. We're down to 30 seconds go, to go here in the third period. Adam Savoy collects at the blue line. Gains the body position on the way back in. Back to Will Averill. Will just dumps it in. Derek Lenoyes.
And that's it, folks. Green Wave gather around Riley Drew. Too bad Riley lost that shutout with about a minute and a half to go. Green Wave prevail in this one by a final count of eight to one. And of course, the big story here tonight, number six, Brian Bauman collects six points, gives him an even 100 for his high school hockey career. These same two teams will meet tomorrow night at the Veterans Memorial Arena in Gardner, Massachusetts. Face-off time, 5.30. Green Wave with some key games coming up now that they're into the second half of the season. I don't have the final shots on goal, but I know Greenfield had a significant advantage. So, from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, this is Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave Skate Doctor, thanking you for tuning in, both on FCAT Sports and on YouTube. We hope you'll join us again soon. And for the final time tonight from the Collins Moylan Arena, Green Wave 8. Gardner Wildcats won. Good night, everybody.